Hello, welcome back. Last time I finally made some progress with Dolores. Uh, I got Brant Bailiwick to read Chuck's will, uh, except he's not going to do it because the will stipulates that Thimbleberry Pie must be present and a few other things. Right, this needs to be decoded. Okay. Mm -hmm. Should be easy to write a program to convert it to ASCII so I can read the will. Except you need something else on your computer first. Open an account today and get a free toaster. So Safely First Savings magically has uh, opened now. I'll probably bring some other people there to check it at some point. I also got this from Chet, the guy dressed as a slice of pizza. So I have a code. Don't touch the electric fence. I think this is probably in the woods. Uh, I'm going there right now in order to pick some thimbleberries because Ricky gave me the things that I needed. Somebody's talking to me. Um, yeah, I'll have to get back to you later. Right, trailhead. So if I go in here, wander around for a bit, I should run into a thimbleberry bush. Eventually. That usually seems to happen. There we go. Use gloves with bush. <laughs> Furious berry picking. Got some thimbleberries. It's Neat. So that's good. The bush is completely bare now. <laughs> uh, so now, what was I doing with those exactly? Ricky was hmm. Somehow I don't feel like this is going to solve my problem entirely. But let's see what she says. I have thimbleberries. Can you please make the pie? Thimbleberries. Can you please make me the pie? You found them. Good for you. And no notes. I was very careful. And also your gloves. Won't be needing them now. Thank you. I'll go make it now. Won't be a jiffy. Okay, great. Does that mean it's going to be slow? Yes, yes, comedic noises. Okay, great. Get a pie. Ricky Lee's famous thimbleberry pie. Hot from the oven. Pretty cool. Whoops. Ricky Lee's famous thimble. This must be Okay. So apparently the period key can actually be used to skip dialogue. That is good to know. I thought I tried every key on the keyboard, but I did not try that specific one. So thanks for that information. Uh, whoever gave it to me. <laughs> Somebody did. Um, right. Cool. Got a pie. I need to decrypt the will. So she wants new software of some sort. Does anybody happen to be carrying such a thing? I don't think they do. Not Ransom. Reyes, where are you? You're there. No, not really. Ah, yeah, shut up. Uh, oh, I had an idea about this. Hey, there we go. <laughs> that totally worked. I was wondering if that would be enough to turn it into ice cream cake. Okay, great. Uh... He does not have a give verb. Would you like this, you know, ice cream ghost cake? Oh my, you shouldn't have. That's so kind of you. Actually, it's from Virgil. I think he, you know, likes you. Really? Well, I never. That's delightful of you to deliver it. Thank you so much. I feel much better already. Now, what did you want to ask me? When did Franklin develop this you know speech tick? I never noticed that before until he started walk, walking well, yeah, floating around the hotel here. Uh Who put Xavier, you know, in charge? No one. He just arrived one day and the next thing I knew I was on boring elevator duty. Hmm. He's a fussy lugs and a clazomaniac too. <laughs> what now? <laughs> 
someone who just got from anyone. Maybe you can. Well, I don't know. I'm not really the type, you know. Uh, uh huh. How do we, you know, get out of the hotel? Rapier has a secret chamber in the penthouse where he can cast a spell to travel beyond the hotel. I don't know how he does it. There was a special book from outside the hotel, and there was something else too, I think. He took us to Chuck's funeral the other day. Chuck is my brother. Now you're just name dropping. <laughs> uh, Virgil said something about that. There was a book and a ritual and like something else I wasn't paying attention to. So, Clara, do you know how you died? I was dancing at the hotel ball with my husband, and then I felt a horrible pain in my side, and I woke up dead. I was in the hotel too, I think. I just remember a flash and then I woke up dead. I think we were all murdered in the hotel. There is something creepy about this place. Don't you get bored being stuck here for all eternity? The first 50 years are hard, but then you get used to it. New guests show up and it's fun to figure out what scares them. I also love this new invention you have called TV. I love when one of the guests is watching Skiing for Cash. That show is so Hmm. Okay. Clara likes it when skiing for cash is on. I will remember that. And I can get her to repeat it. That's important. Can I, you know, please go to the penthouse now? Oh, right. I'm tired of listening to Xavier. That old Frustalugs. Frustalugs again. I figure out how to get rid of him. <laughs> oh, that sounds pretty confrontational. I don't know. Don't be so pigeon-livered. You should stand up for yourself. Oh, okay, I suppose you're right. <laughs> Good, it's decided then. Just push that penthouse button for yourself when you're ready. Great. You Excellent. Let's do that. Xavier is not going to be happy about this. That's fine, I don't care. Alright, so... What if somebody else tried to go to the penthouse, I wonder? Hmm, I may have to try that. Finally made it to the penthouse. Who's that now? What are you doing here? Um, you know, just looking about. I suppose I'll allow that as long as you don't annoy me. Well, there's the secret room with the runes on it. Uh, visit Chuck's tomb. Right, gotta get the spell. Secret spell book, need that. Secret penthouse room. Well, okay, here. Let's finish a... Oh. Those runes are doing something to me. I can't, you know... The door. Of course they are. Okay, fair enough. Uh, look at. I feel warped just looking at those strange runes. They hmm. might have some sort of, you know, power over me. All right, if you say so. Speck of dust. I can't mess it's with it. Dust. <laughs> yeah, so somebody else has to come up here definitely. Ooh. Better than the view from the balcony. Mm-hmm. Stay away from my crystal. The gargoyle. Great view. I can see everything from here. Hey, new ghost. I told you not to bug me. Yeah, what are you going to do about it? <laughs> uh... Is there any way I can speak to my daughter again? Not a chance, new ghost. Only the crystal behind me will grant you the ability, and you'll never get it. Uh, sure. Hypothetically, if I was to get the crystal, how would I use it? Well, you're not going to get it. But hypothetically, if you were to get it, and only hypothetically, because you will <laughs> never get it. Yes, you know, only hypothetically. Okay, hypothetically, you would just take it into my secret room. And you would be able to talk with the living. That's it. Cool. Okay. Bye, Xavier. Sorry for bothering you. All right, so... Obviously, what I want to see is... Could someone like Ray... Also go up to the penthouse now? Shut up in there! No one will ever carry a computer around in their pocket! <laughs> <laughs> Did they have PDAs in 1987? I feel like they might have. Hmm, so she still wants to mess with it. Weird. I swear I pushed the penthouse button. It must be broken. 
Okay, however, there may be a solution to this yet. Um, I need to be on a floor where I can get into... Okay, 301, sounds good. So she still says only Franklin is allowed there. However, what if she's distracted? So I have the 301 keycard. Uh-huh, use. Great. Uh, use TV. It's turned off. This channel is just static. It's now showing. I love it. It's now showing. It's now showing. There we go. For cash. So I'm just going to leave that on and walk out here. Hey, Clara. There's something you might like in there. She doesn't care. Is that still... Hmm. Hmm. Okay, so that's not working. Open. No, I want you to open but not go in. <laughs> so that she'll know it's playing. Okay, well that doesn't work. I mean, I can try again. Nope. That's weird. I swear I pushed the penthouse button. Fine. Alright, so I can't do that. Uh, not that way, at least. Hmm. Okay. So that's not available yet. Franklin wants to visit. Yeah, find secret spell book. Isn't the spell book in the secret room? Maybe not. Escape to the afterlife. Okay. So what was Dolores up to? She got a thimbleberry pie. I need to do something about the... Hmm. I need to do something about this encryption. Also, I need to get inside the pillow factory. Didn't you two say, yeah, break into the pillow factory? You know what? Let's just see what happens... See if they'll do something more if I go over here. Just to check. Uh, I should talk to Safely First Savings. It's a locked gate. It's locked. Hmm. Uh, okay, sure. Let's go to Safely First Savings. Which is... Is that on Main Street? I think so. Art by Eltron. <laughs> uh, safely for savings. What could Ray do here? Whoa. All right, he's gonna. Hello, safely for I think it says Pillow Factory on it. I can't go any farther over. Are you coming on to me? <laughs> I need to keep them on long enough to trace the call. Oh, got it. How can I help, Madame? I was confused about that. Um. Did you hear about the murder? Of course. It's not every day a body shows up in Thimbleweed Park. Seems like the least of this town's problems. Bet you feel safer now Willie is locked up. I'm not sure that I do. Whatever his personal problems, Willie doesn't seem like a murderer to me. That's what everyone who knows them says about a killer. Maybe so, but I just don't think he did it. Uh, no, Ray, you know Willie didn't do it. <laughs> What's your role here? I'm Mr. Alpalo, the manager of Safely First Savings. I take care of all the day-to-day -day operations of the bank. May I ask why the feds are interested in my work all of a sudden? You may not. <laughs> How did you know I'm a fed? You mean aside from the terrible suit? This is a small town where everybody knows everybody else and their business. When a couple of strangers start snooping around, word travels fast. Looks like we got ourselves a regular Sherlock. <laughs> My badge could make your life difficult. Excuse me, ma'am, are you threatening me? I'm just saying if you aren't willing to cooperate with my investigations. Let's say by withholding key <laughs> I might have grounds to call my buddies and investigate your records. 
And I'm sure they'll find something juicy. Madame, I don't like what you're implying, and I welcome you to call in your goons. I'm clean as a whistle, and you won't get around me with your scare tactics. Damn it. <laughs> that key looks important. Can I borrow it? I'm sorry, I can't release the key. Not to anyone. It's the law. That's too bad, Mr. El Paulo. We will have to resort to other means. Not to anyone. Anyone at all, ever? You know much about Chuck Edmund? He was a much-loved community figure and our bank's most loyal customer. Mr. Edmund will be sorely missed. He can't hear you six feet under, so don't kiss his ass for my benefit. <laughs> Have some respect for the dead, please, madame. Why is the factory locked up so tight? In its current state, the factory is not safe to enter. Fire damage rendered the building unstable, and I'm sure the Edmonds don't want any frivolous lawsuits. But aside from that, it is my understanding the factory still contains some valuable pillotronics equipment. That's why we are holding the key until Mr. Edmonds' final wishes are made clear at his will reading. Got it. Okay. All right. That's all I needed to know. If you ever need savings or loan advice, feel free to drop by. Will do. Okay, cool. So, will reading first, then key. Whoa. Oh. Oh, that must be Boris. Wait, and Ricky? Is that Ricky? I think that was Boris on the table. Almost looked like Reyes from here, but just the other other guy in the suit. It is Reyes. What? What is? Huh? What have you done, Mr. Sheriff Corner, hotel manager? Uh, okay. That's strange. It's a very dark. <laughs> uh, okay. So, what a strange thing to have just happened. Let's go talk to Ricky. She's down B Street. I did want to check and uh huh yes it's B Street. Did want to check and see if I can get some food for Mr. Star Trek cosplayer. Dolores is here. Yeah, that was Ricky, definitely. Hey there. Just go over to the counter where we can talk. Well, hi. Welcome to Ricky's YouTube. Oh, I thought you guys had left town already. What with that murder being solved and everything. We still have a few loose ends to tie up. Well, good luck with that. What can I do for you, hun? Uh, hmm. Glad one less psycho is roaming the streets. Well, heck no. I feel worse than ever. I just can't believe poor old Willie would do something like that. If it is true, I just don't know what to think about this town anymore. Well, the evidence says the bum did it. Oh, evidence, shm evidence. I've known Willie since I was a girl, and he ran a watch repair business. And you can just bet your sweet patootie that man wouldn't hurt a fly. Hmm. Goodbye. Don't be a stranger, hon. It's a little bit weird that I get, well, I guess it's a valid interrogation tactic. What the heck? It's out of order. The coin slot is filled with glue, the buttons are missing, and the cord to the receiver is cut. Yet it's ringing. But it's out of order. Wait. But how is it ringing? Yeah, um. It's out of order. But how is it ringing? What the heck? Uh. It's out of order. Okay, it's not ringing anymore. That's interesting. What does that mean? Why was the phone ringing? Hmm. Strange things are happening. Uh, like I was saying, I guess it's a valid interrogation tactic. Um. But it is a little bit weird that... She gets so many options to um, act like Willie is guilty. An old cash register. Looks awful. Not like the New York dogs I'm used to. Uh, all right. What can I do for you, honey? Do you know much about the pillow factory? The pillow factory? 
Not really. Just that it's been closed since the fire. And it was kind of the reason our town used to be awesome. Shut up, Dave. How's business? What's that supposed to mean? It means, how is your business going? <laughs> Do you not understand English now or something? I don't have to answer these invasive questions. It's unconstitutional. You tell him, babe. Shut up, Dave. <laughs> Are you feeling okay? Because right now, you sound like someone who's hiding something. I'm not hiding anything. And I will not stand for an interrogation without a warrant. Yeah, we plead the fifth. Shut up, Dave. <laughs> you are acting really suspiciously right now. Why don't you just quit messing around and tell me what's going on? Or if not, we can take a trip downtown for some questioning. Nothing is going on. Why are you even back here? The murder case was closed, right? We just have a couple of loose ends to tie up on the admin side. Oh, well in that case, is there anything else I can get for you, hon? I'd like to order some food. Order some food. Sure. Everything is on the menu board. What do you want? I'm pretty sure there's one hot dog fewer than when I was here last time. Does everybody have to eat one and throw up before I can get something else? Uh, I'll have the pie. I'll have the pie. Sorry. Dave ate the last piece. See, Dave? I told you a customer would want it. Those foreign city folks really love the pie. But no, you said. We've seen the last of the city folks. Let me have the pie. <laughs> it's starting to go bad. Shut up, Dave. <laughs> I'd like to order some food. Sure. Everything is on the menu board. What do you want? I'll have a salad. Watching your figure? Good for you, honey. Yeah, but we're out of salad. I know someone who could stand to eat more salad. Shut up, Dave. Hmm. That could mean a few different things. I'd like to order some food. Sure. Everything is on the menu board. What do you want? I'll have a hamburger. Sorry, honey. Those hot dogs are about to go bad. And I can't open a new package of hamburgers until they are all gone. Okay, so sounds like I can order a hamburger. I think that's what I'm going to bring to the guy. But the hot dogs have to be gone first. All right, fine. Let's get a hot dog. Good choice, honey. We're trying to move them out. You're not going to enjoy this, Ray. <laughs> oh my. That is the worst hot dog I've ever eaten. I uh, gotta go. <laughs> so seemingly it's necessary to make all of my characters do this. Problem is, I don't have all of my characters right now. Do I? No. Okay. Um. And if I can't... Hmm. Like, Ray doesn't know where Reyes is. I'm the only one who does. Um. Hey, have I ever talked to this guy with Ransom? What are you doing here? to remember there was some dialogue implying that the manager was intimidated by ransom not the other way around hmm interesting uh or am i thinking of somebody else anyway you're gonna go to the diner and eat a hot dog and then puke because <laughs> that's what you do apparently i guess nobody has to pay for food <laughs> just go here and ask for it ah come on now No, but I can refuse you service because you're a B-pole clown. 
Tell it to someone that cares. Just order your food and get lost. All right. <laughs> Give me a greasy crap burger with extra heart attack. We're not serving hamburgers until our hot dogs are gone. Now get lost. I'll have one of those disgusting hot dogs. Knock yourself out with those hot dogs. We're trying to move them before. Well. Before what? Yeah, these diner employees are like the. <laughs> yeah, these two are like the most suspicious ones. <laughs> well, that was unique. <laughs> huh. Okay, cool. So, um, one hot dog left, but I don't have another person who will be willing to eat one, probably. I'm pretty sure I can't order two with the same person. There's no way they would do that. I'd like to order some food. Sure. Everything I mean, I could try. What do you want? I guess I'm not hungry. Yeah, that's what I thought. Bye. For now. <laughs> Some of the things she says. <laughs> Bye. For now. <laughs> okay. Um. So, I have a problem. Well, I have lots of problems. I always have lots of problems in this game. Um, my primary problem right now is where has Rhea's gone? And where would I go to find out? Hi, Ricky, hey, that's not... I didn't click on you. Hey. Welcome to Ricky's YouTube. How can I help you? I clicked on the door. Mm. Nice tubes. Uncle Chuck would have been pleased. <laughs> yeah, your Uncle Chuck's my hero. And he loves my pies. I have to go now. See you soon. Hmm. So Ricky and the coroner were doing something to Reyes on the table. Like that wasn't Boris, right? Right? It was in black and white. Yeah, no, Boris is still there. Mm-hmm. Okay. Uh, where would they have taken... Would Willie know? Actually, I should be somebody else for this. <laughs> um, would Willie have seen anything? Well, only if they took him up to the sheriff's department. Oh, there he is. Oh, okay. He's back. What happened to you? How... What? Okay, I, I feel like I missed something. Wh what? Was this something he did voluntarily? Okay. That only has one F. Uh, that's extra weird, but okay. <laughs> Was that working as intended? <laughs> huh. Okay, anyway, you have to eat a hot dog. For you, honey. You're not going to like it, but you need to do it. I'd like to order some food. Sure, everything is on the menu board. What do you want? I'll have a hot dog. Good choice, honey. We're trying to move him out. Eat up, hon, while it's still hot. Oh. Oh. The flies haven't realized the hot dogs are gone yet. Okay, that is the worst hot dog I've Ever eaten. I am um, gonna go. Blah, blah. <laughs> <sighs> I feel better now. <laughs> All right then. So that happened to everybody. Now let's get some hamburgers. You, I'd like to order some food. Sure. Everything is on the menu board. What do you want? Hamburger. I'm ready for that hamburger. All right, honey. Now that you helped us move those hot dogs, you can have a hamburger. Dave, burn one. Take it through the garden and pin a rose on it. Ready. Wait, what? Saving one here in the grill pocket just in case. Here you go, hon. Okay. Doesn't look as bad as the hot dog, but looks can be deceiving. 
So I have plans for that hamburger. I'm gonna get, no, 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 not the notebook. Back to the hotel. Mr. What's his name? What's his name again? Riker. Uh, I have something for you. In bottles, handmade. Would you like these hamburgers? Thanks. That's exactly what I want. <laughs> <laughs> More eating noises. Delicious. <clears throat> oh. I, uh, uh, I have to go to my room. <laughs> huh. Teeny tiny spaceships in bottles. Can it mess with them? That would be stealing. Well, that, and I don't need more things to carry around. So he's going to his room. His tools were in there. I don't know which room is his. Uh, I don't imagine this guy would tell me. Then again, maybe. Welcome to the Edmund Hotel. Most beautiful hotel aboom in the tri timberweed Park County area. How may I be a boom of service? Hmm. I'm going to check out your beautiful lobby. Goodbye. Have a nice evening, Abu. What did I really accomplish with that? Like he So we asked him for the tools. Okay, he's back. Was that useful? In bottles, handmade. How are you feeling now? Do you want another hamburger? Hamburger? How can you say that? Oh, ugh, bad memories. I, uh, hmm. uh, uh, I have to go to my room. So the question is, which room is his? Did he ever tell me? Hmm. So that's how I get him to run away. Problem is, I don't know which room is his. I could station somebody at, like, every floor in the hotel and see if I can catch him. I could go right now and try to catch him. Huh. I don't know. All right, well, that's something to figure out another day, I guess. All right. <laughs> I did some stuff. Reyes did some weird stuff with the coroner and Ricky. I don't understand what was happening there, but something. <laughs> Alright, see you next time to try and solve this problem with the Star Trek guy.